So what is going on guys, this is Ryan here and welcome to Undertale with a little bit of a twist. You guys already know the month we're in right now is October, which is close to Halloween, so we're playing a game called Horror Tale right now. Picture this, the world of Undertale isn't quite what it seems, note why this is called Horror Tale. And with all that said, I think that covers basically everything we need to know other than the fact that you guys come right now, let's go experience Horror Tale together. Many years ago, another human fell down to the underground. Interesting. Monsters believed that Frisk would be the one to set them free. Oh, this is like post game then. This is really cool. But, uh oh, the human deprived monsters of this possibility. What the freak, dude? They had to fight the king of monsters, Asgore Dreamer. In the end, the human was victorious. Yikes. They took away his soul. Dude, I don't like where this is going right now. Hold up a second. And left the underground. So, this feels like the bad ending, right? This is why the monsters hate humans probably in this world. Sometime after that, the ex-queen regained her throne. Okay, I see her doing that. She passed a law under which all fallen humans were considered their friends. Okay, Undyne's right there. Monsters, displeased, decided to overthrow the queen. Toriel? The mighty Undyne. Ex-leader of the Royal Guard has retaken the throne. What the freak happened to Toriel though? She passed a new law under which all fallen humans... Dude, this like art by the way in the back is great. Okay, I say that. Must be killed, of course. And that's it. The adventure of Horror Tale begins. So yeah, considering you guys really did enjoy the Undertale playthrough, I figured we'd go ahead and check this game out as well. It looks like a great little adventure based on Undertale and it looks well executed. So without further ado, let's get it guys. Like the video right now. The name of the fallen human. Oh wait, hold up. I get no name? Ali? Elise, perhaps? A ray of light cutting through the crack somewhere up high made you open your eyes. Memories of the fall, which it seems lasted forever, start to flash in your mind. Right, you fell. You dropped over 1,000 feet, yet by some miracle, you're alive. By some miracle indeed, dude. Look at that. Dude, these flowers crap in. It seems these flowers softened your fall. And this disgusting puddle of mud? Where are you? Look at that. Fully animated too. Darkness surrounds you, making it difficult to see past the circle of poppies. At least they're alive, just like you are. You better tread lightly, girl. You decide to get up and explore this place. Okay. Howdy! No, wait! Dude, I like this design. Please be quiet. Don't scream! Look, there's nothing I can do to hurt you. I guess? Uh... The freak. Howdy! How unexpected. Another human who fell down here by mistake? What a surprise. I guess it makes you the clumsy and stupid type. Well, this like... Dude, do you hear that in the back right now? Not to be mean or anything. I'm Flowey. Flowey the flower. He offers his leaf like a hand. Shake it or refuse? Ooh, it's giving me those choices straight out the bat. I guess we'll shake it? Haha. <laughs> You can consider me your first friend down here. I might seem harmless, but don't be so naive. Seeing as down here, it's eat or be eaten. Such is the rule of our world. All right, don't look at me like that with that human eye though, man. Why the sad face? Jeez, you look like the saddest human alive. Okay, okay, I didn't mean to scare you. Well, what's your name? You say your name. Eliza? Hmm, an interesting name. I have never met a kid with such a name. You couldn't help but smile shyly. You know, you look cute when you smile. And now, be so kind as to proceed to the next room. That room will be a great place to begin. I will wait for you here. Or there, did you say? I don't know. All right, so let's go on through. He's right there. So, you're here. Welcome to the underground. Some time ago, it was a blossoming and lovely place, but it is all in the past now. We don't have much time. She might be coming, so I'll tell you this much. This place is more dangerous than hell, especially for you, human. All of this because of one psycho queen, damn her. Hmm. Here, put me in your pocket. Seeing as none of us want to stay here, maybe together we can get out of this place? What do you think, Eliza? You agree? Well, then. <laughs> ah! Yo, Flowey's already dead? Someone just took him out. A burning mess. This is really well done. No, I can't move. He's about to crumble the closer you get. A pile of ashes. Flowey. Does he respond? Dude. And just like that, Flowey's gone. He wanted out. They ain't allowing it. Oh. Hear the chest beating already? Let's see. You're shaking. Your soul is filled with fear. Oh, that looks like Toriel. 
Please be good, Toriel, please. My child. My, my game closed down, that's what happened. Right, here we go, we're back up, I think. What a horrible creature, torturing such pure, innocent youth. Oh, oh, please don't cry. Don't be scared, you, you're safe now. The big monster gently wipes off your tears. Ah, that's better. I'm so glad this vile weed hadn't managed to hurt you. Vile weed? It seems you didn't understand what she's done. Oh, I forgot to introduce myself. My name is Toriel. I'm the caretaker of the ruins. I pass through this place every day to see if anyone has fallen down. Poor girl, you don't look too good. You must be very hungry. Let's go. I shall take you to my house and cook something to eat. Now look, guys, this time I say I like butterscotch, okay? Let's walk towards Toriel. Right, Toriel's taking us back. The ruins, menacingly looming over you, bring scent of stale wind and seclusion. Your soul is filled with spirit. I just saved without even wanting to. All right, let's go through. Welcome, child. This place is called the ruins. The ruins are an old place filled with puzzles. Ancient nets of traps and keys. Ah, these buttons? They used to be a puzzle, but it's no longer working. Time has left this mark, but there are a lot of puzzles ahead. You will have to solve them. They, however, will be less broken. I hope they will manage to brighten your mood. Now go, dear. Adventure shall not wait! All right, Toyo, you talk like that again and I leave, okay? Let me read this. Only the feelings may proceed. The rest of the plate is broken off. The text is unreadable. Well, I guess the rest of that text was fearless, right? <laughs> Fortunately, this puzzle is still working. In order to proceed, you still have to press a few switches. I marked the ones you need for you. Okay, let me just check this back here. Stay on the path. Same as before. Press Z to read signs. Uh, I'm pressing enter, dude. There are no trees nearby. Where do these come from? Good point. Where do they come from indeed? All right, Toriel marking this one right there. We press that, and she crosses the bridge. Look at this. Labeling the second one right there. Let's go! Hmm? Wait, dude, you pressed the switch again. It's not working. It's something wrong? Look at those spikes covered in blood. Let me try. Oh, not working. Toriel, you're about to break that thing. Weird, why has it stopped working? It seems to have stuck again. We can't continue without activating the switch. Wait a little bit. Toriel will try to do something. Look, up and down, up and down. Sometimes it'll work. Uh, yo, Toriel, I don't think that's gonna work. Toriel, Toriel! What about this button here? This switch doesn't even work. Uh, what about the spikes? Rusted spikes stand in the way. Yo, Toriel, are you okay? Is it supposed to even work? Toriel, it worked! Hey, Goat Aunt is so focused on switching, she doesn't notice you. You don't know how to stop her. The anchorage is starting to switch. You become really worried for the old mechanism. Hey, hey, hey! Ah! You stupid piece of metal work, damn you! Oops, there seems to be a little problem here. Now there is one puzzle less, <laughs> but the passage is open. It is. Oh, poor girl, you're so pale. Have I scared you? Sorry, I didn't mean it. Come on, Toriel won't hurt you. Let's go to the next room. Let's do this together, look at that. The room is useless now, but before you child there were a lot of humans I taught them the rules of fighting here and this dummy ah so many memories and monsters used to live in the ruins too Not all of them were friendly, but we managed to coexist very well such a pity that these times have long since passed Dang. Oh no time for nostalgia. Ah, I'm sorry toilet is such a chatterbox talking about chatter See that dummy I often talk to it when I'm bored or have nothing to do I've noticed you are not very talkative yourself. Maybe you could try talking to the dummy Um, don't look at me like that dummies are not that scary to talk to they may not be able to answer But they're good listeners who knows anyway <laughs> uh... Oh, I like this game the dummy stands still in front of you. We can act dummy. Let's talk It seems incredibly stupid to you you hesitate yet timidly say hi It has a presence dude. This game is really cool. I'm so into this man Toriel is very happy The layers are like slightly wobbling you see that there's a reassuring smile on her face It seems she waits for you to continue the dialogue tension We can make a pun Let's talk again. You decide to ask the dummy how it is doing You okay, buddy it looks very beaten probably just as always sounds frustrating tension Let's talk one more time. You decide to ask the dummy about the kind of books it likes. Dude, this dummy is not responsive. Dummies don't read books. Yeah, because they're stupid. Mercy? Let's see if we can... We probably can't spare it right now. Let's try and talk one more time. You don't know what else to ask. This is great! How he provides this, like, awkward tension. The dummy's eyes are pinned onto you. Interesting! You don't know what else to ask. It just stares at us menacingly, knowing no idea what else it can do. Just tension. Let's spare it. It won't even allow us to spare it. Tension. Look back. The mercilessly ragged dummy stands on awkwardly. Button eyes are unfocused. You can see grief and age-old grudges in them. Who could have done all this? Dude. This ain't good. Try talking. You don't know what else to ask? Do we maybe look some more? It's not... 
interested in talking anymore. Can't mercy either. Hold up. The dummy stands still like a statue. Burn eyes are looking through you. We just stare again. Anything else follow? The dummy's eyes are pinned onto you. Uh, make a pun for some reason. It has become rather tense, so you decide to tell the only pun you know. It didn't respond. No reaction. You feel even more stupid than before. The dummy's eyes are pinned on you. Dude, do I flee this? You escaped. Oh, you ran away. Sorry, it was foolish of me to make you talk to him, but it's all right. Toro is always there for you. Don't be shy. Come to me anytime. I'll tell you everything you'll want to know. Okay, can we talk to him? Just blank expressions. Look, dude. See, See you later. later. Did he talk to us then? Huh. There is only one puzzle in this room. I wonder if you can solve it. All right, let's figure the puzzle then. So, I guess we did it. Look at that. Rubble in the corners where just... Things have been destroyed. Did I miss a message board? I want to explore this. I know, like, Horror Tale is this own independent story, and I think it had a following before. So, to see this in game form, I bet it's really nice for people. The western room is the eastern room's blueprint. Okay, so, that's a similar put. Wait, hold up. These spikes, though. Toro, can we talk about this? So, this is the puzzle, but here, take my hand for a minute. On the spikes? Okay, so, we follow the path. Just simply try and copy this in our mind. Let's see. So, we're walking, wait. The sharp spikes hide under the floor as Toriel walks across the right steps. Toriel must already know the solution. It's all good. Yet, one on step and... Oh, man. Your grip on Toriel's hand becomes harder. This is risky. That's it. So close. Okay, no problems there. Oof. This puzzle must be too difficult for you. Don't walk here alone, alright? Okay, uh, I mean, uh, I have one task in store for you. But... Why don't we unwind a little bit? Let's rest from all this heat. It's a long way, so take my hand. That'll make me feel better. What about me, Toil? I'm the one that just fell like 1k feet, crash landed on some flowers and watched a flower burn up straight in front of me from your doing. I don't know about this. Big goat aunt's paw slightly presses your hand. Toriel doesn't seem a stranger to you anymore. You feel an aura of safety around Toriel. You pluck up your courage to ask her about the ruins of her life. Let's go our life first. Want to learn something about me? It's not like I have much to tell. I'm just a silly old lady who loves children. And I don't like to boast, but I'm the only monster in the ruins who makes great pies. I remember that I once won the family monster pie competition. I can still feel its taste. I put a figure of a little monster on that pie. It had white fur and cute long ears. It seemed so tiny and even reminded me of an angel in a way. Ha. <sighs> This pie was one of a kind. I'll treat you to it sometime, my dear. Drawing already? <laughs> Look, what do you like more, cinnamon or butterscotch? Hmm? Both perfect. Thanks for the information. I'll remember that. Okay. So we could have learned about the ruins also with that one, like an optional thing we could have done. Nonetheless, kind of glad we learned that. Now, you got the phone for me right now? Here we are. You seem to look better, child. It seems that the puzzle amused you too. <laughs> they always make a good job of it. Let's go. There are more puzzles to solve. Now, before I do that, just check behind here. And I can't. Just a regular old pillar. Now, look at the broken wall. Let's go through, dude. Yo, look at this. The ruins are in a worse state than you had expected. I mean, they're called ruins for a reason, right? The wind is playing with your hair as if it were a pile of leaves on the ground. It's so hollow and lifeless here. It fills you with V8 a little. Great, and that's our saving means right there. Okay, child, I've been thinking. You were so docile this whole time. It's time to reward you. Want a warm hug with your Aunt Toriel? Hug her, man. <coughs> Toriel! What the freak? She tricking us right now. Dot, dot, dot. Do we not want to go that way? Look, we see something that clearly we don't. A large, no, a huge pile of leaves. They may be old, but it's still quite pleasant to walk on. Let's go this way here, then. So, we go across. Well done, Eliza. Come here. I mean, that's a strange way to get a hug, but... See? I didn't lie to you. <sighs> Did that offend you, child? It was just a test of trust. I'm sorry I had to use this trick. My giant pile of leaves down there was meant to soften your fall. I guess it did. Aw, oh, we hugged back. Thanks for trusting me, my child. It's kinda sweet. Kinda sweet. Let's keep walking then. So, this one is very simple. I think you're a smart girl and you'll solve it without my help. Yep, push the rock. Hey! The rock was alerted right there. It moved though. My child, look at how slowly it moves. It must be very difficult for it. Be a good girl and help it. First of all, let me just read what's on the wall behind you. It's covered with dust and cracks to such an extent you can't see anything. Better not get your hands dirty. Okay. All right, let's give the rock a helping hand. Great. Now thank him. Yeah, I've just thanked a stone. Great. Now you feel even more awkward. I mean, stones don't talk. Yeah, I'm playing those tricks either. And so we go on through. Yeah, what's the problem? My child, please close your eyes. Do not peek. What is she doing? Taking us away through? <laughs> she ran away! 
Hold up, what's this on the wall here? My child, Toriel will be very glad if you use this tip, Toriel. The leaves will point the way. I mean, I guess we just simply follow them like so, right? Has to be the path that Toriel took also, and it was. Look at that, straight through to the other side. Very simple. Done so soon, Eliza. Here is your small reward. I have a few on me. You get a butterscotch candy. Why not please yourself with some treat treat? I struggle to say that. Let's get started with this next puzzle. It looks like we've got rocks. Now, if I remember correct, Hold up, it looks like the puzzle in one of the previous rooms. So you already know the solution. I'll leave you to it. Maybe we push these from like the furthest distance to the shortest. So I put one right there. The rock doesn't move back. Push this one here. Now, Toro, listen, you gotta shift your backside or help us. Ta da! Together we can do anything! Nice. Now, hold up. Wait. Yo, you gotta be a good guy this time? He is. Thank goodness we just passed that with no problems. Yo, that cheese is moldy. No, 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 no! My child, don't touch that filth. I don't even know how long it has been there. We'll need to get rid of it. Let's get out of here and quickly. So the cheese never came from the hole, man. It never got the cheese. And the determination we felt, that was no good. Ah, I remember. Still skipping it, just like I did in the main game. There's something under there. Back. Wait, what? Toyo just straight up killed it without even seeing it. Yo, I don't know if I like this. You gonna talk about this? Ah, Eliza, have I scared you again? Oh, oh, you're safe, silly. It was just, well, never mind. A nobody, just a parasite. Don't pay any attention to it. Everything's all right. Yo, this is a bit trippy, dude. Can I look at this? I can't even look at the ashes. Well, she goes this way. Hold up, before we go that way, I think this is the optional path. Look at that with the spiders. Oh, the sign is wrapped in web. Spider bake sale. The finger you follow the text with are stuck to the plate. Huh? No bakery here. Look at that, dude. Nothing we can do. Can we get like tangled in the webs? Hold up. <laughs> we can get tangled in a few, but that's about it. Let's keep moving through more signs. Did you miss it? Spider bake sale down and to the right. Come eat food made by spiders for spiders of spiders. I didn't miss it. Or maybe I did. I was a bit late. Eliza, I have to leave you for a short while. You'll have to stay alone for a little bit. I'm really sorry. Can you just get past the ruins on your own? No, I shouldn't put such a danger in you. Uh, what? Um, could you wait in this room for a little while? It won't take long. Be a good girl, won't you? She goes away. Now, you decide to wait until Toriel comes. You're a good girl, right? But it's just so boring to stand in one place. So you decide to sit. Okay. Next cutscene. Sitting on the cold floor is still better than getting into trouble because of your own carelessness. Or something even worse. Even a blind would pass through these traps, though. But not you. A stupid, clumsy girl. Too scared to talk to anybody. But, uh, damn. Damn you all. Idiots! Hatred towards your friends has filled your head. Had you been braver, you would have started swearing, shaking the walls of the ruins. Traitors, I hate you! For some reason, these dumb heads made you climb this cursed mountain. Why? Why? Why did you agree? Why did you go with them? Oh, that doesn't matter anymore. You're left to be filled with hatred in complete silence. A quiet girl is a good girl. That's what your mother used to say. Is everything adults say true, you wonder? Hmm. Being left on our own to think. Your thoughts are interrupted by a loud sound of a dying whale. Ah, that's just your belly. It's grown desperate to fill your cold emptiness of your stomach. You feel as if the hunger has created a giant hole inside of you. Yo, eat that butterscotch candy though. You've been sitting here for a long time. Your grim thoughts push you deeper and deeper into the abyss of despair, which brings terror. Yet, despite everything, you decide to keep going. Let's keep doing this, dude. See the ruins. There is just one switch. Okay. Now, if I remember correctly, we gotta fall down these to find the right switch. Let's see. There's something on the wall up there. So it's the middle one that we've gotta go to, but I am slightly curious about these other signposts. Let's see, what was the graffiti on the wall? Looks like a cat, Mr. Midnight. That's about it for that one. Ah, ah, we hop down this one here then, press the lever, and then we're good to go. Here we go. Sounds good, right? We can assume at least yes. the spikes dropping. Hold up, if I remember this one, it's about the room being switched, so the far door is not exit. It simply marks rotation and perspective. Now that I understand that a little bit more, let me see the next room a bit. Yeah, I get how this is rotated then, so let's see, what do we press? If you can read this, press the blue switch. So, the one behind here, right, this has to be it. Let's see, is this switch? Press it. You hear a clicking sound. It's good, right? Yep. I remember that puzzle also well. Now, this one here, what was the puzzle here? If you can read this, press the red switch. Is that red or is that orange right now? Let's press it anyway. So what happens? You hear a clicking sound. We're all good. Huh? You hear a strange sound. Seems like something screaming. Someone's crying for help. Looks like it's coming further from the ruins. Crying for help? Hold up a second. Let me just see what this says. If you can read this, press the green switch. No idea which one it is. Let's try this one. Press it. Let's see. Now, 
was the green switch. Yo, what is Toriel doing? I don't trust her right now. This is getting a bit suspect. And I know our home's up that way there. Let's see, though. What is this way here? Take like a break in the ruins. Hold up. Can't go that way. Yo, what the freak? What is this? An odd metal item is glimmering in the light. Take it. Yeah, you found a part of the switch mechanism. Look at the city in the distance. Like, you see the grand scape of this. Shrouded. And not only a fog, but something of color, you know? You see, like, the pollution in the air? This ain't no regular fog, guys. Let's do this then. Toriel, you better not be messing. Oh, I've got to visit her. What if something happened? I'm right here. She sees us now. My child, what are you doing here? Have I not told you to wait for me in that room? What if something were to happen to you? You can't be so reckless. Ah, I, I must have been away for too long. So long you've grown tired of waiting. F forgive me for this. Not a scratch. Perfect. Don't just stand here. Come on in. So she takes us in. Let me check out the tree. Pieces of burnt wood flake sticking to your fingers. Totally different description than before. Compared to the rest of your surroundings, this little house looks really comfy. Yet deep inside you have a feeling something bad is about to happen. Deep inside you're filled with fear. We save up again and the music cuts. Welcome to Toro's home, child. I didn't expect any guests, so this place may be a bit messy. There are probably some things lying around and some dusty corners. You aren't allergic to dust, are you? Good, good. Toriel is going to thoroughly clean the house. I want to think that you can have some real nice time here. Come now, I want to show you something. I'll be back in just a sec, Toriel. Inside is an old calculator from the beginning of... We don't know the date. Let's see these books here. Yo, I could go downstairs too. Warm books and magazines. Toriel loves a good read. Let's follow her. Here it is. She's going to show us our bedroom, right? Your own room. It's a little bit gloomy, but I hope you'll like it. Dude, this thing is going to be a pigsty, right? Ah, and here is a humble present to you. She gave us a bow tie. Ah, you're such a cutie with this bow. I'm glad to have found it. Another child forgot it here a long time ago. Unfortunately, she wasn't so well behaved. A little pushy, naughty girl. I'm sure you would understand. It's hard to get along with such people, but I believe humans can change over time. Do you agree with me? I mean, sure. Ah, now you're a well-behaved little girl. What a relief. It's such a pleasure to be around such children. Well, this room is at your disposal. You'd better look around for now. My modest library holds a lot of interesting books. Don't be shy to take them. Fill yourself at home, dear. She runs off. Let's see our room then. It's a little bit gloomy. Hear that? The base right now, look! The lamp doesn't work. A plush toy. It's lost its color. It kind of reminds you of Toriel. So you take a peek inside the closet. All shelves are stuffed with different looking clothing. Some of which don't fit you. The bed. We're taking a nap, dude. So, we said we like the butterscotch pie and the other stuff, right? She didn't make us it. I don't like Toriel, guys. There is something collecting dust in the box. Ah, that's toys. You don't want to touch them, not in the slightest. One of the items, however, picks your interest. You got a box of crayons. One of them looks bitten. Okay, let's take a look around this then. That, is that like a watering can? can observe that too. Surprisingly locked. Interesting. Now, this room is the one under renovation, right? Still under renovations. The sun is covered with dust. Now, how about a reflection? It's Eliza. Inside the drawer are flower seeds and some broken crayons. Okay. Now, before we even go and check up on Toriel, I think we're going to go down the stairs, guys, because we know what exists down there. No one here to stop us. Don't mind if I do. So now we'll just go see again. It cuts. Don't go there, child. She brings us straight back. Oh, it's going to be this again, isn't it? Okay, so we'll do that more in due time. Let's actually see what Toriel is doing, though, in the other room. Maybe reading? It's not by the fire. Check out the books. Lots of books. You take a random book. 72 uses for snails. We'll read a random page. Fact number 32. Snails have a ribbon-like tongue called a radula or a radula that contains thousands of microscopic teeth. The radula works like a file, ripping food into tiny Bruh. pieces. Fact 33. Snail horns are actually noses turned inside out. Number four. Snailists can not only drink, but also soak up moisture uh, with all their body like a sponge. Okay. Yeah. Oh, we're done here. Ah, child. Here you are. The pie is ready. You like this book? What a coincidence. Me too. Hmm, I have an idea. First of all, give me the pie. Let me think with a full stomach, Toro. Come on. She does. You and Toro discussed different topics long into the night. As if you were old friends, even a boring encyclopedia about snails can turn out to be interesting, given you have someone to talk to. Sweet butterscotch cinnamon crust is crisping pleasantly. So Dude, that is so... I want to eat so badly. I'm so hungry. Delicious. So delicious. Ever so kind and caring monster has certainly come to your liking. Her happily shining eyes and cheerful voice have made your fatigue wither away. Friendly chatter paired with the sweet treat fills your heart with joy. Isn't it perfect? Ah. <coughs> uh, yo. Ah, child, wait. I'll be right back. What? Hold up. That don't sit right. What did she put in there? Here. Here, here, here. Deep breath. Oh, I, I'm so sorry. I've forgotten how monster food can affect humans. It's nothing. We're gonna fix this. There, there. 
go. We're in bed looking sick. Oh dear. I cannot let you travel in such a state. You look so sad, dear. You will rest here until you have recovered your strength. So unfortunate. Stay put, I'll fetch you some medicine from the garden. The bow tie comes off. We look so sad in the bed, right? The frown dipping. We may have even blacked out. Wait, that's it? Yo, what? It's like a teaser for a true Undertale horror adventure. Dang, dude. That was chapter one as well, the demo. What did Toriel put in that pie, right? What did she put in there? Alright then guys, well I guess that's Horror Tale. That was chapter 1. I believe they're working on a chapter 2 at the moment, so it'll be cool to actually follow this adventure as they continually develop it. Not bad at all though. I really did feel like I was genuinely playing an Undertale official game with horror vibes. Good sound work, good use of sound effects, and also soundtracks. I'm into this guys, I'm into this. So yeah, yes. I don't really know what more I can say for this. This was Horror Tale. I hope you guys did enjoy this one, and I will be back definitely when chapter 2 drops. If you guys did enjoy this episode though, why not drop me that like rating? And hey, if you're new around here, why not subscribe for more videos just like this one right here. So thank you so much for watching this video, guys. I of course hope you did enjoy, and I will of course see you on the next one.